boarder? What is that even? I nearly fell off my chair, y'all. Who says Galactic Heroes don't gossip? Hey, it's Faith from Tanya TV, and this is my Legend of the Galactic Heroes journal entry number eight. Yay! Sorry, y'all. I, I wanted to make it different let's just start so episode 61 this politician bitch wanted to sacrifice Wenli so it was like dude self-sacrifice you know the most honorable human deed you did so much for this nation you fought countless battles for them Wenli was like this bitch really my epitaph how about you just die for them you know how about that putting an abstract twist on their despicable acts is what these politicians be really good at kind of reminded me of uh, these lines from episode 51 yeah and when their own lives are in danger this is how they react. <laughs> Shankov was hot with the what was that? The bazooka? But even hotter with his words. <laughs> Roasted. He was raised in hell and Wenli knew. Now there's something that I need to tell you. When I'm watching a show, I avoid any kind of circumstances that might lead to me learning something that I shouldn't know. Like freaking plague. And it used to be a lot easier when I wasn't creating content. Because like now there are times that I just need to Google something, right? Like a name or something. And I don't even remember what it was that I Googled because it was a while ago. But you know how on a tombstone they write one birth date and the death date yeah i saw that for the life of me i can't remember what it was but i think i saw an 800 and i mean we're in the year 799 you see i might be mistaken right no please don't tell me anything he survived this time thank you god thank you frederica moving on to the next episode we got frederica and wenli reflecting on two months of marriage she was like yeah i had to save her ass from being murdered take part in an uprising and now i'm putting makeup on a dead man's face boredom what is that even towards the end of the episode they were like let's drop a bomb and act like nothing happened what i nearly fell off my chair y'all one cannot help but wonder why i thought it was like um the animator's sense of humor or like they got creative and this was a metaphor as steven says here because they were outlaws shankov told wenli at the beginning of this episode i'm interested to see what you will do now that you're not bound by any laws we're yet to know about wenli but for dusty this is it wallen got some well-deserved screen time in episode 63 not that i had noticed them before i, I just got sold all it took was him talking some more. Y'all, that voice. I was just thinking what a relaxed work environment he's creating for his subordinates when that dude attacked. Well, good thing he survived. I was worried Yulian would become an alcoholic. Little did I know he'd get this close to becoming a drug addict. Well, good thing he had a walk-in museum of adolescent dilemmas. <laughs> close at hand. Um. Also, I found me a new ship. <laughs> Episode 64 almost gave me a heart attack. The hell? How? Hold on, bro. How? I was so confused. Like, am I missing something here? So I checked. And last time we saw him was on July 13th when Wallen left for Terra. And he looked like this. Now it's July 30th and he looks like this? What did you do? Anyways, I'm happy. My boy is back and is already doing the thing that I love to see him do. Which is criticizing himself. <laughs> No, you'll be known as a fluffy emperor. Another brilliant scene from this episode was when Runtong went off on that bald minister dude. I was just watching in awe, like my jaw was on the floor. He didn't just roast the dude, he freaking annihilated him. If there's one thing that Ru can't stand, it's full standing where they don't deserve to stand. Meanwhile, Wenli is standing mid-air. Shankov was just done with his antics in episode 65. He was like, yo, what do you want? I don't think he got the answer he wanted. 
私の不在をうまく取り繕ってくれることさ。Basically, Wenli doesn't want to burn all the bridges just yet. Well, this fiasco proved to be a lot more complicated than meets the eye. And what do we do when shit gets tangled up? Yes, we engage in gossip. Who says galactic heroes don't gossip? Look at Wenli's reaction when he learned about Karin. で、どうだった<笑> Then we got Mittermeier and Rorenthal talking marriage. <laughs> the girl is like, Yeah, I'm in your bed with my hand on your left boob, and I want you dead. That's hot. Ru is that one friend who's in a toxic situation, and even when you give them advice, they don't take it. <laughs> For me, as a fan of Oberstein's and Ruenthal's voices, episode 66 definitely had a treat. I mean, that wasn't just some conversation, it was a juicy argument. That's hot. Not sure what I feel about Reinhardt's moment of epiphany, though. Bitefa was like, Yo, are you letting history drag you along? And Reinhardt just flipped. History ain't got shit on me, let's freaking go. He went live in the next episode, scared the Alliance politicians out of their wits, wrecked Wenli's plans, burnt all the bridges, all that good stuff. When he said the only means to remedy this is by force, I was like, yeah, my boy. You would use force anyway, like sooner or later. Episode 68. Alright, let's do something different. <laughs> Insufficient funds. You ain't got no money. Woo. Woman's beauty. Huh? Guess who's back? Back, back, back again. Move, bitch. Help me. The Pilgrims of Terra arrived in episode 69, and oh my god, Dusty! Yuria, do you know that guy? Yeah, but why do you know that guy? Well, that's why I'm a friend of a friend. That's suspicious. That's weird. Hey, I'm going to tell you. She's a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. He was trying so hard to keep it in. <laughs> I think you can have some peace of mind now that he told Shankov. <laughs> and his reaction was the best. He was like, Is she pretty? Yeah, why? No daughter of mine is ugly, so. <laughs> I was assailed by an indescribable anxiety as I started watching episode 70. It's the freaking year 800. You see. Hey, 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 Let, let's not think about that for now. Guess who's back? My girl. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now, come on now. I just want to see how Reinhardt will react to her being taken away. Yeah, so that was it for this entry. Thank you for watching, and see y'all in the next one.